I'm gonna pop her up twice. Still trying to CC her, and that's my two. I'm still full HP, she is pretty much dead. I feel like somebody popped shell on me for no reason, but it's fine. Okay, this man might be dead. A little switch roll over there, we pop thorns. Oh, that was a bad ult by Hercules. I'm still dealing damage, that's some CC on my three, and he's dead. What is up beautiful people, it's Solomon here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Casual Conquest as Mulan against what looks like a Hades. Sorry, I suppose. Surprisingly. Um, how are you guys doing? Having a wonderful day? I'm having not a bad one. Our country is awful locked down, so we're a little bit freer. <laughs> freer, is that even a word? To go around and not being completely locked down. So Mulan, not a very good pickup in my opinion. Um, she doesn't provide as much as other people do to the lane-in phase or to the team fight, to mostly anything. But she's still not as horrible as a lot of people describe her. I need to be at the blue buff. I kind of talk too much. Will he wait? He should have a back clear. Yeah. I don't think he waited, but if it did, kudos to this man. So playing against Hades, oh look at him, diving deep like that. So it's gonna be a very boring game, what looks like. It's gonna be Hades, he's just gonna dive in and out, just get the clear, then pop back, pop back out, uh, heal up to full HP no matter how much poke I do. But we are gonna aggress on him as much as we can, so his healing won't be as strong. Should have probably grabbed my 2 here instead of grabbing my 3. Yeah, still dishing out some damage with an AoE attacks. Gonna fall back here a little bit. He's healing the wave, so clearing it before he jumps in is pretty useless. I wish my uh, jungler uh, realized that we have a mage in a solo lane with no teleport and no defense and not even a warrior's blessing. He's extremely susceptible to ganks, but unfortunately he's casual, so it's probably not gonna be noticed. Oh, we missed our three, unfortunate. Yeah, you see that healing. Plus I stay near him when he does that, so I take a lot of damage. Which is a very, very bad thing to do, but I'm just trying to be as much aggressive as I can. That didn't land. If it did, I probably would have died actually, so they're ganking now that he's under tower. I have to back here because I'm gonna die otherwise. Oh, if I landed that, we might have killed. Oh, not a good gank, not a good gank, but it's fine. I mean, the man tried. I think he needs more time to get some penetration, get some move speed, get some actual attack. Let's poke him out. There's no wave, so he can deal damage. That's his fear. Oh, that's his three. He also missed that. I have a very strong feeling that it, this is not a very good player and that means that we're gonna abuse him later on pretty hard. He has an ultimate which is pretty janky, uh, but as soon as I upgrade my 3 we're gonna be able to jump out. Ooh, that didn't connect. And my ult also allows me to jump out of it, so we're in no immediate danger as soon as we hit that level 5. Gonna go for the blue buff. I don't think I'm gonna get there in time, so I'm just gonna pop this instead. Have some control. Wanna keep poking him out, so Hubba might actually gank. Mm-hmm. Not there, gonna pick up my blue buff. Oh, I lost the minion. That's unfortunate. He's level 5, he can actually just jump on me and kill me, he doesn't even realize that. Come back here. My 2 is about to upgrade, so we're gonna be able to sustain. There you go, we now have a healing on our 2, which is nice.
He's gonna jump in. And I'm gonna try to stay away from that as much as possible. Now that he healed up, we can poke it out. And the three into the minions because it gives so much. And now we have a greater three. Very important thing that people don't realize playing Mulan. You can ult into the wave upgraded stuff on your three mostly especially your three that is very hard to upgrade you just dash through the god and very important to fire the arrow onto the minions so we got some magic d because i anticipated someone else in the soul lane and we have to be against the hades our blue buff is available, we're gonna go for that. Hades just back, he hasn't, doesn't have a TP, so he's not gonna gain some experience or gold from that wave. Our tower is a little bit poked out. Overall, pretty stale, boring lane, like I said. He's not winning this anytime soon, but until I get some items online, he's gonna be just doing that useless bullshit because apparently our jungler is struggling, so we have no control over it. He's gonna heal that up. We're gonna try and not be a part of that damage. From what I see from this Hades, he is going to lose this lane later on. Quite heavily too. But right now, I just want to do this. I might get ganked, but it's fine. We have a TP. For what it's worth. Okay. Okay, that's a Kraken. That's an enemy misadmit. It's fine. So now... Hades actually missed the wave. Because apparently he killed me and backed for no reason. So we're pretty much still even. I guess he tried to ambush here. But this time the, the Hubboy is actually coming in. I'm gonna get him stuck. And that's an ult. I like the secure. I like the fact that he didn't wait for him to dash away or whatever. Good ganked. Finally happened. Might have been sooner, but it's fine. Better late than never. It might give me an in on this blue buff, but I'm not gonna risk it. I just invaded and proxied the wave. And I don't have a teleport in case I actually get ganked. So I'm gonna miss a lot, and we're not gonna invade right now. Hades might be on his blue buff, so we're gonna clear pretty fast here and try to invade. Nope, no blue buff, unforge. Maybe take something else off of the jungle. Hello, Kali. What you doing? We got some experience off of her. We got some poke on her as well. That's nice. She's gonna be a little less comfortable in the le uh, during her rotations. There's some good fight happening in mid. Hades cleared the whole wave. He's going for the totem. Nothing I can do about that. I want not to miss all that uh, golden XP. Worded looks like. Do not falter. Strike, true. Trying to engage him as much as we can. Hubble wasn't a word, but it looks like he doesn't even see it. Yeah, he didn't see it. He keeps fighting. He literally worded there, but I engaged him so hard and he is tunnel visioning so hard that he wasn't even able to look at the map. Probably he didn't see my guide for the UI changes, so you would be able to see your map during fights, huh? Blue buffs, uh, blue buff looks to be up, so we're gonna grab this real quick. And in 20 seconds, we're gonna back for the teleport with a full runic shield 
and he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Since he doesn't have a teleport, I am not concerned that he's gonna be back for the wave very soon. So we're just gonna push it out while clearing the totem. Now that we have TP, we grab this MP5 just in case. And go for our blue buff, clear that, back, use our TP. Looks like the fight in mid is fine, so we're teleporting to the solo lane. Hades rotated without a teleport. Oh, he also died, so that's a tower. I will stay diligent. Gonna ward up just in case. Uh, I cannot be killed, but... Just to be prepared for whatever is coming. Grabbing this tower. Since Hades' dad has no TP, he's now completely lost his lane. He's irrelevant, he's three levels behind, and he's gonna be stuck under this tier 2. From what I saw from his style of play, that's gonna be his decision of choice. <laughs> and we're gonna join that fight in the mid. Mm-hmm. Poseidon is running. Nox is probably dead as well, we cannot help her. Can we? I think we... No, we cannot. I think I can kill this man. Yeah, there's a good chance. Oh, you dashed into me. Really? Okay, you got out. But will you get out though? Medusa's here? Nah, her just st stuck around. He gonna get pay for that. That's a slow, we're gonna catch one of them, probably both of them. Oh, that didn't reach, unforge. Grabbing this, if he comes I'm gonna kill him. That's Poseidon, oh he actually came, but Poseidon is also here so I don't wanna try it out. Medusa just backed. There's one versus two. Even though I had magic defense, I probably should have gone for the fight there. Beat out a Kraken or something like that. We gonna get thorns, uh, despite them having not as strong of a auto attack comp. Thorns might be a good pickup here anyway, because Hades cannot stop his ultimate, Zeus cannot stop his ultimate, Kraken, if it's out, it's out, you cannot do anything about it. Kali, if she's not under her ult, also gonna suffer greatly from Thorns, and she's probably gonna be the main source of killing me later on, so if she doesn't have an ult and we pop Thorns, she has to disengage or die. Usually my weapon of choice in the solo lane is thorns. Most of the situations that you want to be as a solo laner in my opinion are covered with thorns uh, in terms of offense when you actually like go on the ADC. You want to pop that and just he has to run or he's too ahead and you cannot really do anything about it but like if it's that the case the thorns aren't the problem. I'm gonna pop her up twice. Still trying to see see her, that's my two. I'm still full HP, she is pretty much dead. I feel like somebody popped shell on me for no reason, but it's fine. Okay, this man might be dead. A little switch rule over there, we pop thorns. Oh, that was a bad ult by Hercules. I'm still dealing damage, that's some CC on my three, and he's dead. Yeah, he popped thorns, he jumped in, he doesn't have any D, so I can still open that can of beans pretty easily, even when it's ult up. We have a free in on the gold fury, unfortunately Medusa is too stuck on the tower. We're gonna start it anyway, because... Nobody's paying attention, huh? I'm just gonna force my team to do that. That's something you have to do a lot in casuals, if you see a good call. Me, I must go all out. 
Looks like our carries are getting... Ooh. We still get it. Nox, good secure. And he also popped the Kraken, which is wasted. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little bit lucky. Apparently they have it worded, but that was not a good Kraken. Got a bag for Hydra the Urchin here. So we walked to the Solium, which was a mistake. We lost the tower for it. The idea was here to walk and defend the tower and TP to the other lane. Because we don't need to stick around, but apparently I didn't time it correctly, so we'll still lose a tower to the minions, which is unfortunate. There's a big fight coming in in dual lane, we're gonna TP there, but looks like that's exactly when they disengage. Your middle tower is under attack. Pretty bad blink. We're gonna steal it. Oh, what the fuck? I got bamboozled by this statue. Holy shit. That's unfortunate. Look at the Hades being mad at me, trying to clear the wave of all things. Okay, she jumped. She should be dead there. Yep, good stuff. This man cannot jump away. He's also dead. We lost a Hercules meanwhile, which is okay. I'm gonna pull someone in. Ooh, good hit. Oh, that, that knock up. Trying to do as much damage as we can here. Obviously not enough, but I was hoping that Hubble would be better to chase. Poseidon is there. I'm in a little bit of trouble. Not a whole lot, though. Still looking at the Poseidon. He's coming in. So we're gonna disengage a little bit. Nox, I think, hit her combo, but she dies for it, yeah. Look at that Poseidon, he should be pretty low. Ooh, we got him. No, that's an Aegis. Can still kill. I stuck to the wall, so I didn't get knocked up throughout the whole duration, but... Yeah, Kali's still here. We survived way longer than I actually expected, but still not enough. So our next pickup is Megardian Mail. Obviously, they have a Kali. That means we have a Megardian Mail. It's one of the few items that actually counter a Kali. She's pretty, pretty beastly in the late game. And hiding me online doesn't do shit against her because she is invulnerable in her ultimate. So the, all that damage that she does to herself doesn't really do a whole lot. And since they don't have a good ADC, there's no reason for me to go in me in line. But Midgardian Mail, on the other hand, is very much viable. She can be slowed. Her attack speed can be slowed. She dishes out less damage and is way harder to disengage if she goes... Oh, did he just jump? He's tanky now, so there's no reason for me to stick around him. He's useless, but as long as I stick around, he gets some usability by just blocking me on this lane. We got the Gold Fury. Just, just gonna keep bullying him since the Gold Fury stay. Ooh, looks like I bam get bamboozled instead. Um, we don't have ward coverage, and I should have covered for the Fire Giant. Kali is trying to fight me, to no much success, we'll miss my three, my whole team is coming, he's attacking me, that doesn't really do a whole lot. Kali should be very much dead. She will probably die off of her dot on the Nox, right? Oh, probably she's one tick alive. Yeah, that was a huge misplay by me. I was getting engaged while they were taking the Fire Giant and my team is trading for Gold Fury. I saw the Gold Fury. I did not anticipate them taking the fire. Apparently the Gold Fury was worth it. We have a big fight, but Hades is proxying the wave, so we cannot really push. Hades is pretty much in the boat farm mode. And my team doesn't really realize that we cannot push this out. Now he's engaging on the ADC. Medusa's probably dead. We're running because this situation is bad. There's a whole team alive. 
Mm, Habwa is engaging into five people. I'm not going to be a part of that. We're going to back for Frostbound Hammer. Uh, we have issues chasing people down. We need to slow Kali as much as we can. Because she is going to be a trouble late game. No matter how bad she is, she's Kali in the late game. And we're entering that. And now we can do some things. Just trying to stick to this Poseidon to no success because our Hercules pushing him out. That's a lot of ultimates dropped into our support. Uh, he should still be alive, but these two guys, I cannot really fight. Trying to engage them to the best of our ability with the Oni wave pushing on the right tower. It looks like Zeus is there to defend, which is big and fortunate. We didn't get anything off of that, and we lost two of our carries. There's Poseidon and Zeus in the dual lane. We can actually jump on that. They're still there. I caught him. I was expecting him to detonate. Oh, that didn't land. If it did, I probably would have murdered him. Hmm. Still walking on that Poseidon. If I land my Frostbound, he's probably dead. I don't think he can get away. Let's CC her a little bit. That's our beats. That fight is also lost. Unfortunately, we're just running. I keep losing track of how these people are dying over and over again. I need to pay closer attention to what's happening behind me. You got Moxie, kid. I'll give you that one. We're gonna lose dual lane towers for that, but I think I can defend mid. Come here. Oh, are you sure you want to do that? Because you you can't really do that, you know. Not allowing that. I mean, we're losing tier two in dual lane. Nothing I can do about that. There's three people there. But we can bully this guy out and defend the mid tower, which is a lot more important because it gives more uh, map control than the dual lane. So sticking around here. The gold fury is up. This should be done. It. I'm gonna ward up over here, just in case. That's slow from the old Medusa. That's Habwa just delivering his ult. That's a silence, that's a knock-up, some CC, good stuff. Everybody committing their ults is what I like to see, because every time they don't overcommit, we we'll lose fights for nothing. Dealing gold fury, which means that fire giant is also up, and we need to defend that. I don't think they're doing it this time, but they might be. I wish we had any word coverage. The only word on the map is mine, and that is that is really sad to see. We need to go for the fire. Unfortunately, our ABC is in base. Ooh, that didn't land, huh? But I'm doing the best I can to actually force my team onto that. Zeus is around, so I'll let the carries do their work. Just zone everybody out in case somebody comes in. We got a fire, that's nice. Uh, we're losing tier 1 for that, I, it looks like. Poseidon is out of position. We need to chase him down. He's running all the way. Nox and Medusa are not paying attention. They're fighting Hades, I guess. Okay. Need to chase that down. Look at that speedy Herc. He misses everything and wastes his blink. 
But that was a good attempt, I, I guess. Can somebody report that guy? That's my boy right there. Okay, they traded one kill, so that's not as bad. Don't worry, champ. I'm sure you helped. Now that's actually good. I mean, I'm not sure how he did that, but it's fine. Good play by Medusa, I guess. We're gonna push the mid off of that. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think anyone's surprised. Still gets the Poseidon. So Medusa popped off. That mean that means we have an in for the mid Phoenix. Just the Hercules is alive, so it's pretty much free as long as my team joins me. And focuses on the objective because my objective damage is not very significant. They're not focusing the objective, just as I expected. They're fighting the Hercules for no reason. And we don't get a Phoenix off of that because... Yeah, that fight is over. I might actually die here. I let my team disengage and just die for it because, yeah, that, that, that fight was just ridiculous. We're gonna TP to the mid because Poseidon really wants that tower. He thinks he's Apollo. And from what we've seen so far, he's able to run like a whore. So we cannot catch that. Gold Fury is coming up. It's probably our next point of attention because there's nothing else on the map. Despite the enemy support being dead, I don't think we can push. So far this team didn't show any signs of being able to go against sieges. So we need to kill mostly everybody to finally get some meaningful objectives. So I'm gonna stick around for the Gold Fury. Just allow them an end for it. We also opted for speed pot and red pot and upgraded thorns because I couldn't buy any significant items from sold boots after the speed pot. And I'm not gonna die anytime soon, so the red pot is pretty much viable. Set up an ambush here. Now we're transitioning to the fire giant. That first fire was really unfortunate for us, but now it just gives us a very good timer to secure the gold fury and go immediately for the fire giant. Ooh, hello, Kali. What you doing? Oh, I missed that. Hercules is coming their way. We don't have words. I'm gonna be. Oh, that's a Kraken. I'm gonna be a bully about it and just keep popping these boys. Good Aegis. That's my boy right there. He can frag anyone. Gonna heal that up. That's a pretty decent fight. We killed Hades. Uh, we have good control. Uh, Kali is out. I'm gonna do that. She's dead. She doesn't have any more actives. That's a missed dash. We have an in on the mid Phoenix, and I'm gonna tank that. Looks like my team wants to go for the fire instead, with Ani waves pushing themselves out. Now we're not gonna do that. We're gonna engage here and make them fight, because it's a four v three with the Ani waves going in. Yeah, they wanna disengage so hard. I cannot do anything about it. We just have to obey. If they don't commit to the fight in the siege, I cannot do anything. And they don't want to commit because they don't want to fight. Easy as that. So we lose all the Oni waves and we don't get any objectives. Besides the fire giant that will give us the same thing that we could have just taken for free. At least he didn't stall it. We can keep him here but looks like my team is not paying attention at least i get a sprint for it i was willing to maybe get something else out of him because he's pretty spooked 
but the sprint is all I got and my ultimate is gonna be back in a minute which is fine we still have too much gold so we need a back I went for a heart seeker here because I need more damage I need to start killing people on my own because yeah I'm not very content with the kind of damage that we dishing out so I want to be a part of that damage and since I have four attacking abilities having heart seeker is a pretty good thing plus that allows me to clear waves faster and split push on my own because so far our in on the objectives wasn't very successful our ADC is not paying attention to the objectives our mage is not uh, auto attack based in any case Ooh, did I get ya? I can murder you my man you can't do anything that's a frostbound hammer for you yeah kill yourself with those thorns thank you oh I had one second of my ultimate but two people rotated from my lane so Medusa gets the mid phoenix for free and she goes for the last phoenix immediately Poseidon and it's too far to defend that so we get two phoenixes and I solo the Zeus who is their ADC so kind of makes sense I tend to build solo laners against ADCs most of the time so that works pretty well for us and I think I think we're gonna end here but no they go they go they go for the fountain kills instead because and we're not finishing the game now Seventeen kill participation out of thirty-nine. Like I said, Mulan is pretty weak, but I think I made a decent game overall. There's really little to no reason to pick her over so many other better solo laners. In case you wanna win, in case you just like Mulan, well, she's not as bad as a lot of people tend to say as well. A very quick summary of the build: so we started off Gladiator Shield because we need that healing from our abilities and some cooldown but we went against Hades so that was a mistake if I knew it was Hades I kind of anticipated Hercules there uh, or even Kali if I knew it was Hades then I would have went runic shield immediately so we had to double back into runic shield and then we go gladiator shield because it's still pretty much important for healing we go late game heart seeker for that additional damage because I want to push myself and kill other people with that and we have four attacking abilities which is nice hide the urchin because we need more of that uh, defense on both sides some more health and well additional mana doesn't really matter because I don't feel like she needs as much cooldown and allowing us to get as much health and defense is very important Midgardian male is a key against uh, well Kali mostly but Poseidon also pretty famous for auto attacks Zeus also went into an ADC role I was expecting him to have some attack speed that would have hurt him as well but mainly Kali she, that's her counter item if you see a Kali against you and you're a tanky uh, support solo lane or whatever pick up the Megardi mail it's very important Thorns for the same idea if Kali doesn't pop her ult she's dead if Zeus pops her ult, like Hades, Poseidon pops their ult, I just pop my thorns, stand in it, deal a lot of damage for them. And Frostbound Hammer in case I get an in for any of those mages or Kali without her ultimate, I can just stick to them and kill them pretty fast with Heart Seeker. Comparatively to the enemy Hades of bad build, bad start, didn't get te teleported, didn't get bullied enough in lane even though he was bullied pretty hard. I outfarmed him by three levels, pushed him out of everything he owned and yeah, has a diamond border for some reason but there's really no reason for that to exist. In terms of damage, I pumped up a significant number but it's pretty obvious in solo lane with a healing, very hard sustaining Hades in, against me. In terms of wording, I put down significant amount. Our uh, support, despite it felt like there was no words on the map, put down also a pretty significant amount. Everyone else put down some words and our hubbub put down none, which is extremely extremely unfortunate considering he has at least 4 free words uh, before he hits level 12. On the enemy team everybody worded it substantially, Poseidon worded uh, like crazy because he was split pushing and running away like a bitch, so that's self explanatory. Kali uh, actually outworded their support which is nice. In terms of damage comparatively to the Hades I would damage him double the amount, damage mitigation and taken not even comparable. 
I even have some insignificant structure damage, so that's pretty nice. Our supports getting out damaged by twice the amount and totally destroy in terms of impact, but we still managed to win this game, so I guess. Our mid is pretty much the same surprisingly to the Poseidon, but Poseidon was playing like a little bitch, trying to split push most of the time, and our Nox was actually present in the fights, but her power and impact wasn't enough to actually one-shot people from our landed combo when they don't have beats, so that was not a very good play by her. But kill participation is pretty significant, ADC comparatively to the enemy ADC Zeus, Actually, our yeah, damage is the Zeus and we entered the late game. I would say it's a total success because uh, late game Zeus damage is pretty crazy and the fact that she out damaged him is very significant. I think that's the point where we escalated where we won the game. Our Medusa was doing a great job and had a couple of very successful team fights where, where they got completely out of position, got caught and still managed to get a lot of kills off of that. And our junglers comparatively Kali never got online for some reason despite it being 36 minute game. Uh, she's out damaged almost exactly twice the amount. She did poorly to say the least. And yes guys that'll be Mulan game for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I wouldn't say that I had as much fun playing her right now. She definitely needs some tweaks. Needs something added to her kit or just uh, rack up a little on her numbers because she does very little. She is, in my opinion, a lot better in jungle while still being one of the worst junglers in the game. She feels a lot better in jungle because she has decent scalings. She feels very weak solo lane. Uh, she doesn't have sustain for a very very long time in the early game which is extremely important. She just does all the things that other solo laners do better and same goes for the jungler. I had so many games with Mulan in the jungle where she was next to no impact. She needs some buffs. She's pretty weak. I agree with those people, but I don't agree with the people that say that she's complete in utter trash because that's not correct. She's definitely not even a B plus. She's around B, pretty weak, but she's definitely not garbage D tier Loki stuff. She's not even close to that. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, ring that notification bell. It helps the YouTube algorithm thinks that you like my content, which is much appreciated. I leave a like on the video if you like the video it shows it to other people and shares my content which is also appreciated if you want to ask me a question leave a comment because i respond to every single comment on my channel and as always i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day